Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another what is happening in these pictures where we look at pictures and we're like, hey, those pictures look weird. What is happening? And then we try together to figure out what is happening in these pictures. Did you get all that? No? I don't care. Okay, let's do it. This is what the fuck is happening in these pictures number, um, I have it written down somewhere. Uh, 50, number 50. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up? First we'll start with this weird tree chair thing that happened. I'm guessing someone probably just disassembled these chairs and then attached them all to trees, but maybe the trees just grew out of the chairs. You never know, it could be more magical than that, but it's probably not. It's like some sort of artwork, isn't it? Some weird tree class. Oh shoot, I really like this guy's toupee. That's stylish. Nice. Come on, man. The bird seed is not tricking anyone, all right? People know you're bald. Just own it. You look good. You got a normal shaped head. I don't know why anyone would turn themselves into a human bird feeder, but this guy did it. I guess for the pictures. I guess you like the feeling of sharp, pointy things poking you in the head. I don't know. Looks like a fun time. I mean, if you really want, I can just poke you in the head with a pencil. It'll probably be like the same experience. Here's a little boy looking into his future if he marries this girl. Okay, I'm assuming this girl is carrying a toy gun. She looks, you know who she looks like? This looks like a young version of a, what's her name? She looks like a young Rebel Wilson. That's what she looks like. Although Rebel Wilson did recently lose a ton of weight and she's looking fantastic. She's like, you got the baby? All right, I'm gonna go rob this liquor store, okay? I'm gonna get mama her liquor for the week. All right, you you two stay out here. Mama's gonna be right back. Here's a goalie taking some hits off a of hookah in between a match. Is this a practice or a match? Does that help? I don't think it's gonna help you, man. I used to be a soccer goalie, okay? And I know, like, hookahs and weed aren't the same thing, but when I was a soccer goalie, I also used to smoke a lot of weed, and I used to smoke before going to games, and that was always the worst thing. It was bad. It's like halfway through the game, you start to burn out, your reflexes slow down, you're fucking... <laughs> it was it was really bad, but so this this is not gonna enhance your game at all. Here, let me figure out a way to make it harder for me to breathe while I'm playing soccer. Oh, someone's getting lucky. A cow in your bed? Oh, move over. I want to get in there. <laughs> what is happening? Why would you possibly have a cow in your bed? Did this cow sneak into your house? Do you have a farm nearby? Now, I would say that maybe this is like in a country like India where they worship cows and maybe they're just like treating this cow like royalty. Or maybe it's just a crazy person who wants their cow to sleep in their bed with them. Who knows? That's the point of this video. We don't know what the fuck is happening in this picture. But if you do, then let me know. Because, uh... I've never had a cow in my bed, and if you're gonna give a cow a bed, could you at least make it like a queen size bed? Look, that cow is scrunched up on there. You got him on a twin? Is that a twin? That looks like a single, come on. Give this cow a bigger bed. Get that cow a king size bed. Dear Dr. Pepper fans, my heart saddens me to my core to inform you that we are out of this intoxicating beverage, but on Tuesday morning, as the sun rises at 6.45 a.m., the soda fountain gods will grace thine taste buds. Someone has way too much time on their hands at work. Uh, it's funny, but it's still... You clearly don't have a lot to do at work, huh? Here's another sign on a store. Did you buy our giraffe costume on Saturday the 2nd? Please call in urgently. Now I need to know why. Call in urgently because, what, someone with gonorrhea was wearing that naked. We did not realize that it came straight from a sex party the other day, okay? We didn't realize that there was a bunch of furries banging in that giraffe costume and then they sold it because it was too sticky. Please return it. Here's a sea of hats. Is that a yield sign for speed bumps or a yield sign for hats? Part of me just wants to, like, run across it. Like, this sea of hats. I just want to, like, just try to sprint across it as fast as I can. I bet you you could make it. Damn, someone's gonna get trampled here. This is crazy. What is this? What kind of gathering is this? That's what I want to know. Here's a couple of neighbors that probably shouldn't be neighbors. One person's got a gay pride flag and the other's got a confederate flag. And I don't know what's in the window at this confederate flag house, but it looks like they have like a gun. What is that? It looks like a gun pointed out the window. You got a minigun pointed out your window? Dude, I'm sorry, but great gay pride, dude, you gotta move. You gotta just get the fuck out. This guy's gonna kill you. Is this the same house or these must be apartment buildings, right? They must be. Could you imagine if that was like a brother and sister? 
<laughs> oh, that'd be fucked up. Here's a graduation class and, uh, excuse me? That's not appropriate, okay? Put your robe back down and maybe you should have wore pants under your robe, lady. I mean, congratulations on graduating. Wonderful. I'm sorry, I shouldn't judge you. Wonderful job. I don't know how the hell this happened. This is an old school picture of a submarine that looks like it came up through the ice of an ice rink in the middle of a game. Holy shit. You gotta play around it now, that's it. Just finish the game around the submarine, who cares? They missed their target by a little bit. Like, this isn't the docking bay. How did this even happen? That's crazy. It's fucking cool too though, to be honest. Like was this rink built like right on top of a body of water? I'm sure it's super inconvenient for the people who are uh, there and the people who own the ice rink. But for me, as a bystander looking on, it's pretty fucking cool that this happened. Here's a Snorlax in a video game shop just pressed up against the glass. Damn, look at that belly. Oh, oh shit. Oh, damn. That oh, Snorlax got dumps. Oh, shit. Damn. This is making me feel all kinds of things. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, am I still recording? Oh no. Ooh, I'm gonna be looking up Snorlax stuff later, you know. <laughs> Ooh, what is it, like rule 34? Yeah, I'm gonna find me some Snorlax stuff later. You know what I mean. <laughs> He's thick. Damn. Are there female Snorlaxes? Oh, it doesn't matter. All right, here's a couple of psycho people burning a statue, I guess. I don't know what's happening here. That's insane. Who gave this woman a flamethrower? Who's this nonchalant man just kind of going for a walk with his dog or some shit like oh shit yeah it's just another day in the neighborhood bertha's out with her flamethrower again oh hey bertha all right well i hope you enjoyed that video i thoroughly hope you i hope you thoroughly enjoyed it so i'll see you in the next one bye